Hey, I hope you guys are doing well. I am Mike with VidMuse. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking what computer equipment do I use for video editing? Well, recently I built another Hackintosh. Are we allowed to say that? Is that illegal? So everybody asks, why build a Hackintosh when you can buy a Mac Pro? Well, does money grow on trees? Now, there are two reasons why I decided to build a Hackintosh versus buying a Mac Pro or even an iMac. Number one, lack of upgrades. Now, if you have an iMac and you want to go ahead and upgrade something, you can upgrade the RAM, you can upgrade the... That's it. You don't have a lot of versatility. Number two, cost. Now, since money doesn't grow on trees, I can build a Hackintosh for almost half the price that it would cost for buying an iMac 5K or even a Mac Pro. Shocker. Now this video is not going to show you how to build a Hackintosh. There's plenty of videos out there that already show that. So in this video I want to explain and show you the five major pros to building a Hackintosh. Number one, customization. Now we all like being able to customize various things. Our cars, our multi-rotors, our computers. So your Hackintosh, yes, you can pick out what video card you want, what hard drives you want, the size. So lots of versatility and flex there with choosing all of your different components. Number two, the ease of installing OS X. Now in the past, it has been very difficult to install the OS X operating system. Uh, Yosemite, the latest version, uh, it's actually the easiest yet. Tony Mac, best resource out there in my opinion. They have some great features and software that allows you to install uh, Yosemite very easily and it makes the process go by very quickly. Number three, cost. Now I will have all of the hardware components listed on my website and going over all the different prices, but overall the mid tower, all the internal components, plus the 4K monitor, you're looking at about $2,700. Now that price is extremely affordable considering what you're getting. Now, a fully loaded iMac 5K with tax is going to run you close to four grand. So, yes, we're slightly over that halfway mark. Number four, hard drive connectivity. Now, yes, I do have Thunderbolt and USB 3 as well as eSATA. Now, on an iMac or a Mac Pro, you're limited to USB 3 as well as Thunderbolt. But how many of those ports do you have? Now, on a Mac Pro, yes, they have a whopping six Thunderbolt 2 ports as well as four USB 3 ports. Those of us who don't have Buku worth of Thunderbolt drives, yes, we're going to be limited. On this particular motherboard, I have the two Thunderbolt ports, eight USB 3 ports, as well as eSATA ports. Now on an iMac 5K, you're going to have your two Thunderbolt ports as well as four USB 3 ports. So there is a limitation there with how many USB 3 ports. Now being a video editor, I use tons of external hard drives including USB 3 and eSATA and having that connectivity is a huge bonus. Number five, cooling methods. Now yes, Apple is known to be very stylish with their systems in general. The iPad, the Mac Pro, the iPhone, everything's nice, slick, and stylish. Now for normal daily use, these things are great. But if you're going to be doing some video editing, hefty processor use, these things generate a lot of heat. Now Apple has done a great job engineering their hardware, but as we all should know that heat as well as dust buildup, it can choke and harm your systems down the road over time. So with a Hackintosh, they have multiple mid and full size towers you can buy, plenty of airflow, you have radiator units you can use. So there's plenty of different cooling methods that help keep your components nice and cool, even during those hefty rendering times. And yes, allows your components to last even longer. Now I did a lot of research on the iMac 5K because I was considering buying one. But when I saw the benchmark for Geekbench was only 16,000 points, Yes, that is a high number, it's great results, but it wasn't quite high enough from the other numbers that I was getting from other Hackintoshes. So, getting down to the nitty gritty, let's compare apples with apples. <laughs> apples with... First we have Geekbench 3, coming in at a whopping 17,700 points. Now on Cinebench we have a little over 105 frames per second, and on the CPU a little over 870 CB. And finally, Nova Bench coming in a little over 1,500 points. Now my results on Geekbench 3 at 64-bit was almost 18,000 points. Now again, I look at this and I say, okay, I'm slightly higher than an iMac 5K fully loaded, and yes, at a little over half the cost with the versatility of upgrading down the road. Not to mention we have a 4K monitor. So as you guys know, yes, I use the system for video editing and visual effects when I need it. As you all know, I am a die-hard Adobe user all the way. Sorry, Final Cut users. Yeah. Now the beauty with Adobe, CUDA, and an insane fast video card, we can produce some insane exporting speeds. And as we all know, time is money. 
So the more time you use, the more money you save over time. Now with this lightning fast insane hardware comes the ability, yes, to play back 4K footage in real time in Premiere without having to change your playback resolution to half, quarter, eighth, sixteenth, thirty second, sixty fourth, or one twenty eighth. Now the final last huge bonus that I can think of has been upgrading to a 4K monitor. Now using this 4K monitor in native resolution at full 4K at 60 Hertz, uh, it does take a little while for your eyes to get used to it. Keep your eyes open, you maggot! You stare at those pixels! Where your honor, you now, all kidding aside, because the print is so small, it does take some adjusting of your eyes, but after a few days and the pain is gone and you can actually start seeing objects again, it is a beautiful screen, and yes, the real estate is nuts. Plenty of space to work with. So overall, we have been pretty stoked with our results. We're very happy with the Hackintosh. All the bugs have been ironed out. And yes, as you all should know, it does take a little bit of time to iron those bugs out. There may be a few variation differences. If you guys have your own Hackintosh builds that are coming in at insane speeds, feel free to comment below. We'd love to see what amazing creations you all have created. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Mike with VidMuse. I'll see you again soon.